Welcome to Co Outdoors. Today we're in the classroom starting a new series. Starting next week, every Thursday at 10 o'clock. We will be live for the whole entire series of shows. So we are going to have live streams of the classroom. So let's get into it. You're going to get to see what the next five weeks of the classroom is about. So this is going to be an overview. Welcome back to the classroom, guys. So let's take a look at what we're going to do for this next series. It's, we're going to look at sponsorships for bass tournaments and how to get them. This can also work for walleye tournaments or any other type of fishing tournaments that you do around the country. So on the, today, we're going to start week one, which is just an overview of how to get sponsors. And I'm just going to give you <coughs> a summary of the next couple weeks and what you can expect from this class. We are going to be live from here on out at 10 a.m. of every single Thursday besides the 15th. The 15th there will still be one posted but it's going to be pre-recorded. I'm going to be hunting. So week two we're going to be doing an inter I'm going to introduce you guys to the cover page to your portfolio. We are working on building a portfolio so we're gonna, and I'm gonna cover the following. I'm gonna cover what are they used for, why are them, why do they need, need and what do you need to put in them, and tips to trick and tricks to get them red. And then the following week, we're gonna go into more advanced stuff. We're gonna find out how to find the person you're sending it to, how to individualize the cover letter for each company to make it more successful. I'm going to talk about doing follow-ups and how to do and how to make sure that you leave that door open after your follow-up. Week four, we're going to be doing the nuts and bolts of this. We're going to work on your fishing resume. How do you make a resume? These are very simple to do, but we not very many people know how to do them. I'm also going to include tips and tricks to make in a great resume. So this is going to be a nice little class for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy that one. And then in the uh, final week of the course, which is going to end in December, we're going to take a look at your clippings you can put in there, newspaper clippings. We're going to talk about how to organize them, what order to put them, and where we place clippings. And then we're gonna we're gonna work on putting together a rating system for each clipping because you can't always send all if you have a lot of them. And we're gonna we're gonna do a drawing. The drawing's gonna be for a a a chance for me to read and edit your portfolio. In order to qualify for this drawing, you must subscribe and comment each of the of the week's courses so I hope this is going to be a very successful class and I hope I have a lot of people involved but we will see what happens but remember in order to be in the drawing you must subscribe and comment each and every week the person who does for your first and the person to do that will go into a hat on the last show and we'll do a live drawing and I will guarantee you I will edit your portfolio. Thank you for watching Co Outdoors. Please subscribe, like, and share my videos. Until next time, I am your host, Derek Cole. Later!